So we're going to factor 16m to the power of 8 plus 64n to the power of 6. Um, if this was subtraction, maybe we would be looking at the difference of a perfect cube binomial, but this one's plus, so not really much to do with these, I suppose. Uh, we'll, we'll check, though. First thing I do notice, though, is that both of the coefficients of m to the power of 8 and n to the power of 6 are even. So I know I can factor out a 2, but is there more to it? As it turns out, there is. We should be able to factor out a 16 from both of these, right? So 64 would be 16 and I think it's 4. Yeah. So if I factor out 16 from both of these terms, and I've got 16 times m to the power of 8 plus, uh, what is that, 4, that's what's left over, n to the power of 6, like this. And at this point, yeah, I don't see that we can factor that out any further.